Winnipeg, Canada. It's the capital of Manitoba, eh? Architectural historian Frank Albo has discovered the Manitoba Legislative Building is not only a reconstruction of Solomon's Temple, but is loaded with secrets in plain sight. The architect Frank Worthington Simon designed this 1920 building to be veiled in allegory and illustrated with symbols only his Freemasonic brothers would understand. In fact, every premier who worked in this building from 1870 to 1967 was a Freemason. Two Egyptian sphinxes flank the entrance, just as they do in front of the House of the Temple in Washington, D.C. The top of the dome features a 13-foot-high gilded statue of Mercury, the same golden boy we'll meet again in Paris. After going up two flights of 13 steps, one enters a cubic space measuring 66.6 .6 feet on edge. We'll uncover the unexpected meaning of 666 in the most surprising of places in Paris. It's probably not what you think. According to Albo's research, two 13-foot-high bronze bisons identify this as a cleansing room in temple vernacular. Going up another flight of 13 steps, one arrives in the rotunda, there's a mural on the wall of the rotunda above the entrance to the Manitoba Legislative Assembly that ostensibly depicts World War I. However, a man wearing a white robe with exposed chest, being supported by his brother, identifies him as an initiate in the first Masonic degree ceremony. Albo identifies this mural as the altar in what is secretly an initiation chamber. Looking up in the rotunda, you see the underside of the central dome the golden boy is perched upon, and looking down a level through an oculus in the floor reveals a fascinating space called the Pool of the Black Star. Just off the rotunda is the Lieutenant Governor's reception suite, which is the only space in the building off-limits to the public. Albo got special permission to measure the chamber, and discovered it's a cube, having an edge length of 20 cubits. These are precisely the same dimensions as the Holy of Holies within Solomon's Temple, a place that was also obviously off-limits to the public. But if this represents the Holy of Holies within Solomon's Temple, where is the Ark of the Covenant? Albo discovered it's directly above this suite on the building exterior.